lovely people, my name is Nicole, and today I am doing my February wrap up. Um, so compared to the past couple months, I only have about half as many books. Today was this month was kind of a rough reading month for me. I'm going to blame Rochelle Mead because I've been in kind of a bit of a book hangover for the past couple weeks and it's all the Ruby Circle's fault. So I have a total of nine books for you today, although one of those was a did not finish and one of those was an audiobook, so yeah. Um, so the first book I read was I Finally Finished The Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. Um, obviously I've read this before, it's you know another part of the Harry Potter series, I love it, it was amazing. Five stars. The next book I read, uh, I don't have a physical copy of because I'm currently loaning it to my dad, and that was Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Um, this is about a world where everyone is sort of categorized by their color. And there are a whole bunch of colors, but sort of the two extremes are the reds, which are the lowest of the low, they're basically slaves, and the golds who are the wealthy rulers of everyone. And it's about a red whose wife sort of wants him and sort of pushes him to join a rebellion to overhaul the color system. And it's it's one of those books that has a really complicated setup. Um, and it's about a kind of a rebellion thing, but it's a sci-fi. I really enjoyed it. I thought the action was intense and amazing and so epic and I loved the characters. Uh, they all felt really just believable and there wasn't really any big problems I had with it. Um, and so I gave it five stars. Then I read We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sundquist. This is a true story about a 25 year old man and um, he realizes that he's never actually had a real girlfriend so he goes back through all the girls he almost had a thing with and asks them why it didn't work out. And it's funny and it's cute. Um, it's told in sort of a uh, girl by girl format. There's background, then there's a hypothesis as to what happened and why it didn't work out. And then there's the actual conversation he had with the girl. And I honestly, I kind of wish that the actual conversation parts were longer just because it felt like it was more of a, hey, look at all these girls I almost had a thing with, than a experiment, which I thought was um, sort of what, it was what drew me in. Um, although I did think the ending was really, really cute. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I didn't love it though, so I gave it three stars. The next book I have is The Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead. Uh, I got this basically immediately after it came out because I've been waiting for it forever and I'm so glad that I finally have it. Um, I loved this. I'm not going to say what it's about because it's the last book in a series, um, but I will say that there wasn't really anything that I didn't love about it. It made me cry, it was beautiful, and I very much appreciate the epilogue. Thank you, Rochelle Mead. I love you. And this is why I had so much trouble for the rest of the month. Of course, I gave it five stars. Uh, for all the other books in here, I, I was feeling sort of bleh reading-wise, and so a lot of these books are ones that really were good. I just didn't feel like I really connected with them all that much. So what normally may have been rave reviews are just good this month. Um, there were still a couple five-star things. There was just nothing I really sort of, like, really emotionally connected with. Darn you, Rochelle Mead. <laughs> um, so the next book is The Sky is Everywhere by Jenny Nelson. I picked this up because I knew I needed something to help bring me out of my uh, Ruby Circle slump. Didn't help as much as I thought it would. This is a book about a girl whose older sister just died and she is sort of recovering and mourning and figuring herself out and what she wants and She's also dealing with the fact that she's now feeling these weird emotions um, towards her sister's boyfriend because, and they're both in grieving and they feel like they, they're the only ones who they can really talk to about this because they're the ones who are feeling this and it, then she's also having emotions about this new guy in class and so it's this really sweet 
um, story of grief and love and family, and I thought it was really, really good. It was beautifully written. Um, a lot of it read very much like poetry, and I gave it five stars. The next book, uh, not, not so great. This is a did not finish for me, um, and that is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. I did not like this book. Um, I got not very far into it. I got only like 50 pages into it, and then I put it down and just couldn't do it. Um, I love Zoe, I really do. I think she's a great person, I think she's lovely, I think she's very nice and wonderful, but I just, I could not handle this book. I thought that the teenagers felt written very just cliche, and like, all the like relationships they had with each other felt like they were just sort of pulled off of a list of here are all the stereotypical teenage relationships. Like you have the hot guy, and then you have the hot guy's sort of girlfriend who's frenemies with the main character, and then you have the gay best friend who comments on their fashion, and uh, she, she just felt so boring and like everything I've seen before. Like you always hear about those stereotypical young adult protagonists in which the girl is cute and kind of quirky, not quirky enough to be like a total outcast, but quirky enough to be not popular, and she's way smarter than everyone else in the grade, and it just felt really blech. Like, come on. This is the thing that I read all the negative reviews about. These are, these are, this is why people bash on YA, and it just really frustrated me. And then the writing style just kind of felt really just amateur. It felt you know, like they were telling instead of showing, and I just kind of hated everything about it. So while I love Zoe, I hated her book. Then the next two books I read are These Broken Stars and The Shattered World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Um, these are sci-fi romances. This one is about a girl who is a, um, she is the daughter of the wealthiest man in the universe and a boy who is a war hero and they get stranded on a deserted planet and they have to sort of survive and figure out if they can get rescued and they fall in love and it's very cute. Um, and then this one is about a girl who is a um, military captain on this planet that is dealing with some rebellion um, and one of the boys who was one of the leaders of the rebellion, and they fall in love, of course. Um, I, so this one was the book explosion book of the month. Um, I've heard really, really good things about it, and I liked it. I didn't love it. Um, I think I gave it four stars. Um, I really, really did enjoy it. Um, I just, I didn't, it didn't stand out to me as much as everyone said it was. I didn't think it was quite worth all the raving, um, but I did really enjoy it. I thought the characters were really sweet, and I really enjoyed um, especially Tarver's personality, and although Lilac pissed me off to no end in the beginning of the book, she definitely grew on me, and so I def I, I did enjoy this. Uh, the, the Shattered World, however, I, again, I liked it, I just, I didn't like it as much. Um, I definitely don't think it was worth necessarily all the raving it's been getting, um, but I did enjoy it. I did, however, think that the characters were a little blech. Jubilee was interesting, but Flynn just felt kind of like a reiteration of Tarver, um, and I just, I didn't think it was that interesting. Um, their relationship felt a little bit forced. Um, I think, honestly, my favorite part about this one was the moments where we got to see um, Lilac and Tarver again. And so I only gave this one three stars. Then the last book I read this month was an audiobook, and I read it sort of, I listened to it sort of over the course of the month. There was a couple times where I had to make long, multiple hour long car rides. So I listened to it then. Um, and so that was Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me by Mindy Kaling. I really enjoyed this. It was funny, it was cute. Mindy Kaling's great. She's she, she really is. She's a fantastic writer. Um, I really enjoyed hearing her all her stories. It was really great re listening to the audiobook because I got to hear her 
uh, read it. And it was just, it was fun. It wasn't mind-blowing, but it was definitely really, really enjoyable, and so I gave it four stars. All right, so those are all the books I read this month. I did have sort of a slower month reading-wise, um, but hopefully I will be back on for next month. I love you, and I will see you later. Bye.